So I just did a should you wear insulation layers inside your sleeping bag video, and that is a great segue to this Valentre Bloody Mary test I just did at seven degrees. All right, the Valentre Bloody Mary. You guys know I love Valentre. I've been doing uh, tests and using their bags since I think 2012, 2013, somewhere around there. But you saw me use their bags back then. I did a bunch of testing back then on their swing line. And now I got their Shocking Blue and Bloody Mary. And I took the Bloody Mary out because I really wanted to see if it did better than the Mountain Hardware, um, what's that called, Phantom. So you saw the Mountain Hardware Phantom uh, didn't do very well. Maybe you didn't. I'm not sure what order these videos are going to be in, but the Mountain Hardware didn't do very well. Um, you know, it actually did worse than a five degree Bloody Mary bag. So on Valentre's website, it says it's a five degree bag. Um, the Mountain Hardware Phantom, which is $150 more than this bag, uh, is a zero degree bag and it did worse. Now the reason Mountain Hardware did worse after I analyzed it was it's so tight in that bag and I didn't have many layers on, I had no insulation layers on, that when my arms are at the side, it's pulling tight here on the chest that's where the thermometer is. So the insulation was kind of compressed and not doing what it's supposed to do. Valentre kind of has the opposite um, thought. Their thought is they're gonna make a great bag down on a pretty good temperature rating. And then it's cut generously so you can add layers. So like in this, I could wear a parka. This is Valentre's troll jacket, but this is a nice size, you know, uh, insulation layer. It's not a full size parka but it's a thick insulation layer uh, filled with down. So I could do that, I could wear a thin insulation layer, uh, but I could definitely wear a thick insulation layer and really, really, really extend this bag. So this five degree bag really performed well compared to um, you know, the Mountain Harbor Phantom, which is a lot more expensive. So let's look at the numbers. So granted, this was really pushing this bag to its limit. I wouldn't take this bag below 10, this was about seven, six or seven degrees. So what you have to take into consideration is this bag is really at its limit compared to a zero degree bag. So obviously it's not gonna be on par with the zero degree bags in terms of performance. But I was curious, how is this gonna perform compared to these zero degree bags? And it actually held its home pretty good. If I would have had another insulation layer on, um, I think it would have been an astonishing result. If I take this out at 10 degrees, it's gonna blow away every other 10, 15 degree bag that's out there, in my opinion. But Valentre's thought is, we're gonna have a generous cut so you can add layers and get the temperatures lower and lower to get to a little more extreme temperature ratings. So where this one really uh, shined was at the end of the test, the Mountain Hardware Phantom actually dipped down by the end of the test after 45 minutes. The Valentre kept going up. You know, At the end of the test, it was still increasing in temperature. Um, at seven degrees for a five degree bag, that was really astonishing. Um, granted, it was at its limit, but if I just would have had no layer on, you know, even just a small layer, um, that thing would have blown away the Phantom Zero, 100%. The one thing I will say that really helps this bag out is its Marie Antoinette collar. And what this is, is it literally goes around your entire neck and you just have a little hole to put your head through and you can cinch it down you can make it a little bigger and then you just put this on and then literally there's not a lot of air if any going through there I mean obviously you're gonna have a little bit for ventilation but that keeps the warm air in and keeps the cold air out and it goes around your neck kind of like a guillotine um, that might not be for everyone uh, but it's not uncomfortable whatsoever and you can adjust it so you can have it loose you can have it tighter um, You know you have the adjustment down here, and we'll talk about that more in the review but That's definitely one thing that sets the, the Fallon tray bags aside the shocking blue and this Bloody Mary um, From some other ones in the market. They have a very unique uh, Draft color system the uh, Bloody Mary got to 77 degrees which is uh, pretty good given the fact that a $150 more bag only got to 76 degrees after 45 minutes. So held its own, 150 bucks less. So as far as the temperature testing, I will try to take this out more around 10 degrees, get another reading, because I think that's the limit of the bag. 
Um, and once I do that, you'll see that test. This was just more of a, I'm curious to see how much I can push this one with just um, a base layer and then a kind of like a thinner quarter zip over top uh, test. I thought it performed pretty well and it was very surprising. I'm curious how the other zero degree bags do once I get some more cold weather coming in here when I test those, um, see how they work compared to you know, the Bloody Mary. And then I got the negative four shocking blue that really is, in my opinion, a zero degree bag from Valentre, so Fahrenheit. So I'm really excited to test that one out as well. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you've had Valentre uh, bags or you've used them or talked to people that have used them, go ahead and put down in the comments what, uh, you're, what you've seen with them, what you've heard about them. Uh, always curious to hear what you know usage cases are out there in the uh, wild. And until next time, later.